To model simple processes, not many model elements are necessary. We need the activity, actions, decisions and merge elements. All these elements can be found under these names in the toolbox for the UML activity diagram. We distinguish decision and merge based on incoming and outgoing control flows. One inbound and several outbound control flows represent a decision. Several outgoing and one incoming control flow represent a merge. UML allows you to use one decision as a merge and can therefore have multiple inbound and outbound control flows. However, such models become confusing and difficult to read. I therefore recommend to model as explicitly as possible and to always create a separate model element for a merge, even if the diagram becomes somewhat larger as a result. The diagram is certainly more understandable. In this tutorial, I show you how to create such a simple activity diagram describing a process of authentication for an ATM and how to interpret it. As usual, I will create a separate package, which I will give you the name a simple activity and I will keep the option create diagram here I'm gonna select the simple activity let me get to it what it means when I open a diagram I see a simple activity toolbox having a limited amount of items if I want to see the complete toolbox I can do that by changing the value in applied meta model like this. This comes in handy, especially for our example, because we don't want to deal with all the elements. Okay, let's start with creating and closing activity authenticate, which describes the process of pin authentication. The activity diagram usually starts with an activity initial. Then I'm going to use a quick linker to create a first action and this action will have a name set counter. This counter will have a variable which will be an effect counter set to 3. Save and show effect in the diagram to make it visible in the diagram. Again, I'm going to use a quick linker to create another model element, but this time this is going to be a decision, playing role as a merge. You should know by now what's the difference between merge and decision. So then using the same procedure, I will create two more actions, query pin and enter pin. As a next step, I'm going to create an object flow between enter pin and verify pin actions. If an object flow is created from one action to another action, EA automatically generates an action pin at each end of the object flow. This is a comfort function. At the action enter pin, we see a so-called action pin. It represents data, in our case the pin, that will be picked up and checked by the next action verify pin. The same action we have to do for the verify pin action. So change the name to P and assign the pin as a type. The action verify pin contains another action pin. When checking the pin in the action, not only the pin is included as data object, new data is also generated. In this case, a variable of type boolean with the name success. This data is passed to an output parameter of the activity. In addition to output parameters, we can also use input parameters to pass data to our process and send data back to the process caller when the process is complete. After verify pin, we know if the pin is correct or not. With the decision without the name, 
we can now decide which further path to take. At the outgoing control flows, we see guard condition in squared brackets. The guard condition contains a logical expression that can be true or false. We can write a little formally free text or more formally use a logical expression as in programming language. In our example, we query the value of the action pin success. If the value of the variable success is false, we go to another decision to check the value of the variable counter. Since the variable counter already exists and has a value, we do not need any further action between. We can check the value now. If the value of success is greater than zero, the value of the success variable is reduced by one. If the variable counter has been lowered, we return this branch of the process and have thus defined a loop. The merge model element is important here. If we let the control flow be shown directly into the action query pin, the model would be semantically wrong. If the variable counter is already set to zero, we will retain the card and end the process. The output parameter authentication success still has the value false and we passed it to the caller of authenticate. To tie up the lines in a diagram, you can use this trick. First, I will select a line style orthogonal square for one line and then I will apply the line style on a diagram of the same type, just like that. And here we go, the diagram looks better. If you want to review your diagram, I highly suggest to use the context filter. Once enabled, it is possible to click on any element on the diagram and show only those elements that are directly related to the selected element. All other elements are grayed out until you click on the diagram background. This and many other exercises can be found in our book Compendium of Enterprise Architect. This paperback serves as the documentation and guide for UML with Enterprise Architect training, but is also excellent for self-study, delivery within Europe and worldwide. Did you like our tutorial? Please let us know in the comment section below. And please, don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video with your colleagues. Click one of these to watch more. Thank you for watching.